Hi, welcome to How to Repair. This video is on how to change carbon brushes in a C-set motor. We're working on a hot point washing machine, but this video can be used on Indeset, Ariston and Schultz as well. Appropriate models are listed below. Right, just disconnecting the appliance from the power supply, and now we need to take the lid off. There's two screws which need to be undone. Now these hot point lids, um, also on the Indeset, are quite sticky, so I'll show you a little technique to uh, get them off easy. Once you've removed both of the screws, go back round to the front of the machine, and in the centre, with the palm of your hand, just give it a tap. Uh, the plastic actually gets quite sticky, trying to pull it from the back, it usually doesn't work that well. Right, we've got five screws on the back panel, just remove these. This will give us access to the belt and the motor itself. But before we go any further, I'm going to show you uh, some video footage of the machine spinning from underneath. So you can see how bad the brushes are and you can see the sparking that's taking place. You will also hear a very distinctive clicking type noise uh, when the motor's spinning. This is uh, due to the one carbon brush on this machine which has got a bad contact and is making a bit of an arcing type sound. You'll hear it more distinctive in a second and at the end of the video I will show you the new brushes fitted to the motor so you can actually compare the two. Um, once new brushes are fitted it's a totally different sound. Right, the next thing we need to do is remove the belt. Now the easy way to change a belt is to pull it slightly towards you as you rotate the drum pulley and the belt will just come straight off. Next we need to undo the two bolts that hold the motor. The motor itself sits on four lugs which I'll show you later. Now we'll take the earth plug off and then remove the motor block harness that bit of dust you can see on there is carbon off the old brushes. You will get quite dirty doing this. Now we need to remove the two bolts. Now do be careful when working in this area as the panel of the chassis can be quite sharp and you can cut your hands very easily. Once you've removed the two motor bolts you need to put your hand underneath or just inside, and then drop the motor and bring it out from underneath the machine. Do be careful again here, the motor is very heavy. You can see here the labels that clearly identify the motor. This is a CZ. Uh, the other type of motor is an Indesco. They both have different types of brushes, so before ordering any parts you need to identify which motor it is. Now we're just going to check the armature for any raised lugs or damage to the armature itself you wouldn't want to uh, order new carbons and find out you've got damage to the motor and having to replace the whole motor as well so the brushes come off quite easy uh, the one on the left hand side you can see here has the taco wire clipped to the brush so just unclip that and then you've got two screws need to be taken off and the brush itself sits on two lugs which locate into the motor chassis which you'll see in the pictures in a minute and you'll clearly see how badly these carbons are worn now when working on these machines you are going to get very dirty um, the carbon dust uh, gets into everything so make sure you're wearing some old clothes as you can see this brush is totally worn out now the new one has a plastic clip which locks the brush in place for transit this needs to be clearly broken off and now you can see the comparison between the new and the old and believe it or not this uh, brush on the left hand side hasn't worn out completely uh, the one on the other side is the uh, major problem now when locating the brushes it's a good idea to keep your finger on the armature 
uh, to stop it rotating and to help guide the carbon into its location while locating the lugs into the motor chassis that you can see on the old brush there. And then just get one of the screws in straight away. And it'll stop it popping out. Now to remove the wiring off the brush there is a little clip you can see in detail here you just need to depress it and then it will pop out it locks into the little hole you can see I showed you there a small flat blade screwdriver will do the job perfectly while I'm putting this side together um, please remember to subscribe to our channel as that's what keeps us going and able to make these videos for you also we're on Facebook if you'd like to join us and you can get all the relevant tutorials on this maker machine at the website uh, we sell parts for all the Hotpoint, Indeset, Ariston and Schultz range and if you can't find the parts that you need just contact us and we'll list them for you as we're building the site I'm using a cable tie because not all the replacement uh, carbons have a lug on uh, to locate the wiring so just a small cable tie will do the job now we're removing the other side here I'm just showing you that little clip again and removing the two screws when I get this carbon brush off you will actually clearly see the difference between the two sides which I'll show you a comparison on now the top one was off the left hand side you can see a shine on the carbon that's still got a little bit of life left in it not a lot though but the bottom one which was arcing very badly and causing the distinctive noise that I told you when you were looking at the motor is very dull and this means it is totally worn out you can actually see where it was arcing and that's the little plastic bit you need to take off and some of the carbons they have that for transit purposes so they don't break in transit and again you can see the difference between the two the new and the old you can see my finger just holding the armature and guiding the brush into place while dropping the lugs into the chassis and again get the screw in straight away so it doesn't pop out the carbon uh, brush itself is quite fragile that's why I'm emphasizing making sure getting it locked into place straight away and there we go both carbons are now replaced what we need to do is just check by spinning the motor it's all seating nicely and now we need to relocate the motor. These are the four lugs that I was on about. Now the motor has four points which sit over these lugs, which you can see here. So we'll just put the motor underneath and locate it correctly. Not all of you at home have got a test bench like myself, so you will need to lean the machine over and also have a colleague holding the machine for you so it doesn't fall just replace the two bolts take them up tight and then quarter of the turn now this is something people do not get correct you need to put the belt onto the motor pulley wheel and then onto the drum pulley then slowly fit the belt halfway round the wheel and use the power of the larger wheel to actually get the belt on. There's no adjustment on these belts like on the old machines, they're self-tensioned. Now once the belt is on, don't just think it's done. You need to line the belt up in the center. You can see the old mark from where the original fitting was. Now the way to adjust this is just slightly pull the belt towards you on the motor side 
and bring the belt along the actual spline. So in other words, reseating the belt onto a different groove. And then rotate the pulley and you will clearly see the belt move up on the top pulley here. And then just check from the top and you can see it's now situated in the centre of the pulley. It's very important because if that belt comes off at high speed you can do some serious damage to the drum. Now here we go, the machine's all back together, all working and I'll quickly go underneath to show you the difference between the new brushes fitted and the old. You will see links here at the top of the page taking you to the relevant parts for your machine and also to the diagnostic and repair guides for all tutorials on this maker machine. You can see the armature spinning here with the new carbon brushes and there's no sparks at all. Sometimes as the new brushes are bedding in you will get a little bit of sparking but nowhere near compared to the other video. We hope you found this video helpful and come to the website and buy the parts from us. And if you don't, well don't worry, you can always click on the link and buy us a beer. Thanks very much indeed for watching. Look forward to seeing you again.